morning and it's looking gorgeous this week. Yes, yeah, spring, is that you out there? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Forget the countdown, we're seven days away, but uh, it's gonna start to feel a little like spring, maybe ahead of schedule Good. Uh, this year. Can't promise it's gonna stick around. We know spring around here can be a little, well, back and forth, yeah. kind of hard to make up the mind with the weather patterns that happen here in the spring and some things are hinting at a wetter than normal spring. So these next several days, we've got seven days until spring and really it's gonna feel like spring right up until that point. So take advantage, get outside, spend some time in the sunshine with this mild weather that's moving in. Weather headlines, you do have the flood warning still up for the Boise River, of course. Uh, warm temperatures this week, as we mentioned, it's going to be a nice week. We're actually talking near record highs as we head toward tomorrow. Then we do get the potential for some showers both the middle of this week and this weekend, too. So we'll come into that more in a second. Temperatures right now, low 30s in Mountain Home, starting to cool off just a touch in some other spots this morning. Otherwise, mid 30s to low 40s for us here in southwest Idaho. We're at 27 in McCall, Idaho City at 25, and Nampa, good morning to you. It is right on the 40 degree mark as you head out the door this morning. Things are pretty quiet on the satellite radar. We do just have a couple of high passing clouds moving through the area this morning. That's kind of going to be what we're going to be seeing throughout the afternoon too. But overall, the Pacific Northwest for most of us, especially the inland Northwest, uh, going to see dry conditions today, especially as for Southwest Idaho and Southeast Oregon. Storm track keeping everything off to our Northwest. So Seattle continuing to see some moderate to heavy rain this morning. Can't really catch a break up in that direction. But for the most part, we are under the influence of high pressure, meaning dry and and mild. A different story though as you head over toward the Great Lakes region and eventually the Northeast. We're talking a potentially major nor'easter, uh, kind of one of those blockbuster snowstorms that hits those areas and just hammers them through with snow. You can see the area of low pressure centered right here. It is kind of slowly starting to shift and will combine with some mild air down from the Southeast and that's going to contribute to that a trend that could dump a foot or two of snow on some of those coastal cities up the New England area and along the mid-Atlantic too. So DC, New York, Boston, uh, Buffalo, some of these areas expecting one to two feet of snow. So we'll show you the storm track on this. And again, know that things can change uh, with these big snowstorms as we head throughout the next couple of days. But watch as it kind of lifts up along the mid-Atlantic and up the eastern seaboard there and turns to snow uh, out there along the New England area, but stays as rain off the coastline. So we are expecting a good dumping of snow. It is March but winter certainly taking hold over the northeast. For the west, though, we're under the influence of high pressure, as I mentioned, and that means we're going to stay nice and dry and relatively mild. So again, temperatures are going to be much colder out to the northeast up there. Uh, 28 in Detroit, 30s for New York, mid-40s for Washington, D.C. Today, things will cool down with the influence of that nor'easter, though, as we get going. We're in the 60s to low 70s across much of the west, a little bit more mild air out along the coastline, 50s for Portland and Seattle, but we're going to be in the 90s in Phoenix this afternoon, Las Vegas, 85 today, so there's where the warm air is. For us, again, staying nice and dry for the next few days, uh, except until Wednesday night into Thursday. That's going to be our first hint of change. So noticing for the most part, all of this staying off to our north and west. But as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the potential for some shower activity here in southwest Idaho. That's the first of two cold fronts that's going to make its way through the area in the extended forecast. But for today and tomorrow, just expect mostly sunny skies. Temperatures today, 66. We'll see a sun setting at 749. So hey, the sun will stick around a little bit later into the evening too with these longer days. Into the extended forecast, we're talking 70s tomorrow. Yes, you heard me correctly. Low 70s for your Tuesday. Our uh, record high for that date is 75. So we're going to be inching up awfully close to it. So coming in nice there. And then we go back to the upper 60s for Wednesday. Slight chance of showers Wednesday night into Thursday. That'll cool us off to the upper 50s or low 60s for Thursday. But that's about it. And then we go back to the mid 60s, upper 60s for the weekend. St. Patty's Day looks nice and dry. Potential for some more showers Saturday and Sunday. But the coldest we get is 56 in the next.